present you a safety pack today. The safety pack is the safety solution for the RX TC3 XX microcontroller family. And safety pack is designed to cover the most common RX safety manual requirements for a lot of applications in automotive and industry. The RX controller, yes, it's a complex device with numerous internal safety mechanisms. The developer must ensure that all the safety mechanisms function and trigger correct the reaction in the event of an error. The safety mechanisms of the RX are documented in the RX safety manual. In total, the RX documentation consists of many of thousand pages you have to read and you have to understand. We have developed safety pack to implement these basic functions quickly and safety. Safety pack is based on more than 10 years of RX fun functional safety know-how. Our motto, concentrate on your application know-how. Don't reinvent the wheel. Cost, time and money with safety pack, we cover a lot of, safe, of RX know-how for you. Safety pack is ProSil ready. ProSil is a trademark of Infineon for RX functional safety components and provides a rapid way to achieve your ASIL goals. Safety pack saves your time, your money, and your nerves. Safety pack provides an interface to execute and evaluate the startup tests. Safety pack supports the necessary internal safety mechanisms SM, external safety mechanisms ESM, and safety mechanism configurations SMZ for a lot of applications. Safety pack provides cyclic tests that ensure the correct operation of the RX TC3 XX CPU and the internal buses through a mixture of hardware and software modules. Safety pack manages the watchdog system and an optional combined watchdog and power controller. Today, the TLF35584, and with our next maintenance um, release, the TLF35585 as well. Okay, let's have a look in some more details. The safety concept of the RX is mainly based on the safety mechanisms to cover as much as possible faults, which can occur during the product life cycles. Many of these SMs are implemented in the hardware of the micro itself. But there are still a lot of more than required, which have to be implemented by the integrator. These are the so-called external safety mechanisms the ESMs, and here the safety pack library comes into the play. As per the TC3XX safety manual, there are more than 120 assumptions of use, ESMs and SMCs. And the picture on the right side will give you an excerpt of the RX safety manual. Some developers mean no software is required because in the second generation of the RX has a lot of tests now realized in the hardware, like the logical built-in self-test or the power, power built-in self-test. But it's only one part of this consideration. In the safety manual, there are still a long list of assumptions of use which you have to take care about in your use case to fulfill the requirements of your safety standard and the level. Here are a short list what's still open. 
you have to implement, configure, and trigger and evaluate the startup tests. You have to implement, configure, perform, and evaluate runtime tests like the special function requester or the die temperature sensor test. You have to implement, configure, and handle a functional and window watchdog. You have to follow the development process given by your safety standard. For all these tasks were previously covered for the Oryx first generation, the TX2X is by the Infineon Safety Lib and is still needed for the second generation, the TC3XX as well. This slide shows the execution of the safety mechanisms to, during startup. The picture on the right hand side has been derived from the safety manual for the Oryx second generation, the TC3XX. Two different colors are, areas are shown in gray and light green. The gray colored block represents the boot phase and in light green, you can see the application startup phase. This graphic gives you an impression of what all needs to be done in the startup and where safety packs support you in the implementation. On the other hand, Safety pack supports you not only in the startup in, in the initialization phase of the SMU, but also in the implementation of the watchdog initialization and cyclic tests. For example, the support of the safety mechanisms at runtimes like the die temperature sensor or the special function requests. This image is a graphical representation of the safety pack software in the green colored rectangle. It gives you an overview of the modules of the library and show how it can be integrated into your application. The red colored blocks are only to represent the RX TC3XX hardware. The gray colored block demonstrate the code that the integrator has to implement himself. Safety pack is divided in two packages. Safety pack basic for startup and ESM support, safety pack watchdog, watchdog support. Furthermore, there are optional modules like TLF35584 test and for the startup test of the TLF, the ABIST and a program flow monitor. Note that the safety pack can also contains demo code, which demonstrates a possible implementation for the watchdog manager and the test manager. Note that this demo code only and is demo code only and therefore does not qualify under ISO 2626-2 standard process. Here is an overview of all available safety pack modules. Safety packs modular system makes it easy to customize and supplement individual functions. Depending on your precise requirements, different safety packages can be selected. Safety pack can be used in AutoSA and non-AutoSA environments. In terms of AutoSA, safety pack is a complex device driver. Safety pack is compatible with the Infinium MCAL 2.0 uh, or 2.10 and the future MCAL versions in terms of compiler versions and Tracer Studio. And safety pack uses uh, the MCAL driver SMU. In non-AutoSA environment, safety pack can still be used independently. For PXROS HR environments, for instance, safety pack implementations are available. As the MCAL drivers, so the Microsoft abstraction layer for AutoSA, 
Tracer Studio will be configurable with, Tra with Tracer Studio as well. That's the same configuration tool as for the MCAL drivers. Individual tests and test sequences are configurable using the Tracer's tool. The Electrobitacer Studio is part of the delivery of the package. This slide shows what's included in Safety Pack. You get a complete source code of each package together with a demo workspace. You will get the Electrobitacer tool with all needed plugins and a tracer sample configuration. And of course, you will receive some documents, a user manual, including a security manual, the release notes, the configuration check manual, and the demo description. The standard delivery does not include a safety case and a safety pack validation report. This document can be obtained from HITEX on request if you need it. Safety pack supports almost all derivatives of the Oryx. Check with HITEX if your the Oryx derivative is not yet available. In many cases, we can offer an alpha release so that you can start with your project even if no release candidate or production release is available. But I think we have covered the most common Oryx devices our customers will use. If there's any doubt, please ask me. What's upcoming in the future? First of all, we will support the successor of the TLF35584, the TLF35585. It will be available with the maintenance release at least in quarter four this year. On the other hand, we will support the NXP PMIX like FS45XS or 65XX in quarter three of this year. We will implement further ESMs and SMCs. Are there any missing ESMs? Please tell us. Then we can decide whether uh, these ESMs will be part of the next maintenance release of um, Safety Pack. On the other hand, we are now starting development Safety Pack for TC4XX. We are in intensive discussion with the engineers on Infineon as well. And you can uh, be sure that the safety solution for the TC4XX will be available for, for the TC4XX as well. I think the first versions will be um, available at the end of next year. If you have any further questions for TC4XX support and development, please address me in a mail or call me. We especially recommend our training for safety pack integrators. In this training, an experienced safety pack developer passes on a lot of know-how about Oryx functional safety and integration of safety pack. We also offer consulting services around Oryx functional safety and embedded security for individual development services for hardware and software please contact us as if required. Here's a summary of this presentation. Of course, we will be happy to send you after the end of the, our meeting. I can imagine that one or the other detailed technic technical question is still open on your part. Please send me an email or call me. I will be happy to forward it to our technical support for an answer. Yes, thank you for your attention. Any questions on your side? Please write down in the chat or send me an email. My email address is given here. And after this webinar, we will uh, send these, um, these slides as well. If I'm not available, 
my colleague, Ms. Nicole Henschelmann, will be your contact as well. This gives me um, the opportunity to show you upcoming webinars at Hitex. So the next webinar will be test automotive automotion and continuous integration with Minihill. We will give you an introduction into cryptography. And next uh, RX webinar for safety based on a BMS and battery management system with ACLD. We will um, show you in June of this year. And beyond unit tests, what's about systems tests with Mini Hill? We will have a webinar for this at July. Or find uh, high techs personally at the ex uh, events, the pits and chips in Eindhoven, Netherlands, or the embedded world in Nuremberg in Germany. So I would be very happy to see the one or the other um, at Nuremberg in personally shake hands and discuss your needs for the future.